All right, so I just got a new mic from Amazon for my DSLR to use on my shot, shotgun mount, or sorry, on my hot shoe mount. It's a shotgun mic. We'll go ahead and open this up. Uh, it's a uh, mic by Comica. Uh, the reviews for it, it's on, currently on Amazon, it's a four and a half star review. Uh, price at the moment is $43.99 and it is available on Prime. Uh, it's supposed to be one of the best or better low budget mics and so you're not spending hundreds of dollars. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got. Alright, so here's our mic. Uh, first thing I'll notice it's extremely lightweight. There's no batteries in it yet. Don't don't mind my uh, my little pug here barking. Who knows what she's hearing? Um, but uh, it's got a nice foam cover over it. It uses a 3.5 millimeter jack on it, which is pretty standard. Uh, on the back of it, uh, I'll have to read the directions to see exactly what each of these items mean. But it, I don't know if that's focusing in on that. But there's where the switch is. Uh, it does have the hot shoe mount on it, like I was saying. Um, what else do we get in here? It did come with batteries. It uses two AAA batteries, and it does come with the first set of batteries. So I noticed a lot of mics don't include any batteries, and I think that's kind of silly because they're cheap, and it'd be nice to have them included so you're not looking for batteries as soon as you get something new. Uh, what else do we got in the box here? Mic, batteries. got a nice little instruction manual. Let's see. Yeah. Pretty thorough, straightforward. Has some instructions in there, so I'll probably be giving those a good read through. Oh, it tells you exactly what the buttons and stuff are on the back. That's excellent. And the last thing that's in here is a nice big furry windsock. And we'll be putting that to the test and see how much that helps and what kind of sound quality we get with the use of that, especially in windy outdoor areas, which is why I plan to be using this. Well, outdoors, not necessarily windy. Um, to install the batteries, it's right here, it just opens, it says to slide it. Oh, there it goes, pops open. There's where the batteries go. So we'll go ahead and get batteries installed on this mic. I'll get it installed on the camera and then we'll come back and see what the sound difference is between the internal mic of my DSLR to the shotgun mic being mounted on the uh, hot shoe. Well, I blew it on my first attempt to test the mic. I forgot to turn it on. So, I don't remember everything I told you. So we're retesting indoor again the Comica shotgun mic mounted on my DSLR, which is a Canon uh, Rebel SL1. Uh, yeah, it's a budget shotgun microphone. Again, it's listed at $43.99 off of Amazon right now. Uh, we'll be able to compare this sound clip, since I didn't get one before, against the no mic sound clip that was recorded uh, previously at the beginning of this video. And now I'll go ahead and move the camera back outside one more time into the windy environment and test it out there. So here we go. Okay, again, I'm about, eh, I don't know, five, six feet from the camera. We're back outside. The wind's still blowing a little bit. Uh, it's about where I stood for the first test in distance for close to the camera. 
I'll go ahead and move back over here by the tree and we'll get sound from that distance as well. Okay, again, uh, about five feet from the camera, the mic is disconnected this time. So it's just using the internal mic on the SL1 uh, from about five feet away. And now I'll move over here again. All right, I'm back over by the tree, talking about the same way I did before in the first two attempts. Uh, the Obviously, the no mic attempt worked. I got footage from uh, video and sound from that. Now we'll have video and sound from with use of the shotgun mic. And uh, yeah, let's see what the results are. All right, now I'm about 15 feet away. I'm talking with the same amount of volume I did before. Uh, the wind's still blowing about the same. A whole uh, minute has probably passed since I recorded it with the comic gun mic. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and post-process this, see how the video sounds, and then I'll do a wrap-up. All right, so we're wrapping up the uh, initial review of the Comica shotgun mic uh, for hot shoe mount on a DSLR or any other camera that's got a hot shoe. Um, first initial reaction, the sound quality is definitely better and cleaner than it is with the camera's internal mic. Um, it's not perfect, you can still hear some wind noise, uh, but overall sound quality and the amount of volume it picks up over distance is noticeably better. Um, I do want to point out though that when this is on here with the actual windsock on, if you've got a shorter lens that's zoomed all the way out, you can actually see some of this frilliness down in the lens and it's uh, something you'll want to keep in mind for using the larger muffling windsock. Um, I plan to do some more testing with it with and without the windsock and some better direct comparisons, different recordings of the exact same exact same sounds with and without the mic as well as with and without the windsock. Um, that said, for the price compared to most of the other shotgun mics that are listed on Amazon, you get what you pay for and overall I'd say this is a bargain. It's got good sound, definitely better than what you're going to be getting out of your DSLR. Um, depending on what video camera you have, it's probably better sound than that as well. Um, we'll also test it out with some other applications being that it's got a three and a half millimeter jack on it. This is definitely could come in handy for some other things. So we'll, we'll be playing around with it and doing some future videos. Um, if you're interested in checking it out, again, there's going to be a link down in the description, affiliate link for it on Amazon, um, as well as for the camera, because I got that off of Amazon as well. Very happy with the SL1. It has great photos, great video, and now I'm going to finally be getting great sound with it as well. Uh, until next time.